Did you know that the decorations we put up in the season of Advent and Christmas carry more meaning than just to make it look pretty? For instance, the Christmas tree. It has a triangular shape, if you look at it from the front, which is to remind us of the Holy Trinity and the power within that. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And it also looks as if it is pointing heavenward. It is an evergreen tree which is to represent hope and new life that we get in and through Jesus Christ. The lights that we wind around our trees remind us that Jesus is the light of the world and that we, as members of the body of Christ, can be a light unto others. Typically on a tree, probably at yours at home, is either a star or an angel. The star is to represent the star that was in the Bethlehem sky that God placed there to guide the wise men to the nativity scene where Jesus was born. Or the angel that sits on top is to represent the roles of the angels in the Christmas story, especially Gabriel who came to Mary to announce to her that she was going to bring Emmanuel, God with us, into this world. And typically, you may have heard us talking about it before, we have a really big, big, great tall tree there in our chancel. And it's usually decorated with chrismons, literally coming from Christ and monogram put together. And these chrismons are usually white and gold in color. White to signify Jesus' purity. He never sinned while he walked on the earth. He never sinned ever. And gold as a reminder that he is the greatest gift of all and that God is king of kings. So Christmas trees are full of signs and symbols and significance of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the nativity story, but there are lots of others too, like the Christmas wreaths. You can see one on either side. These are circular, having no beginning and no end, signifying the everlasting life that we receive through Jesus. Some wreaths are made out of holly, which is very prickly and almost like thorns, which is to symbolize the thorn of crowns that Jesus wore on his head as he was crucified, paying the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. Oftentimes there are red berries or red bows, as we have, to signify the blood that Jesus shed on the cross as well in that ultimate sacrifice. And we also have poinsettias, red to also signify Jesus' blood shed for us. But if you look at a poinsettia flower from above, it almost looks like a star, just like the star of Bethlehem. We have blue pyramids here. You've seen that on the pulpit and in Peter's stole. And the color blue is to represent Mary in the story. Mary was an obedient vessel to God. She was scared, but she remained true. She rejoiced even when she was scared and she didn't know what exactly was going to happen. She was an example for all of us as members of the body of Christ and followers of Christ. Blue is also a color of royalty, another reminder that God is king of kings. And our Advent wreath. Our Advent wreath, usually circular, this year it looks a little different. But we have candles here that are present, five candles in total, four in the color blue of the pyramids, and the central one, the Christ candle. The four represent the four Sundays of Advent leading up to Christmas and white being lit on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day to celebrate Christ's birth. There's also an old story about candles that give even more significance to them. You see, in Ireland many, many years ago, it was illegal to celebrate Christmas. So the Catholic priests who were expelled from the country had to travel in secret during the night and celebrate mass in people's homes. 
Those who were willing to host the priests would place candles in their windows and leave the doors unlocked so that the priests could come in, pray with them, and spend the night in a secure place. We would usually have candles in our own windows here in the sanctuary, but I'm willing to bet that some of you have candles in your own homes. There are stories behind so many other elements, like tinsel and bells and candy canes and more. So I encourage you to look them up for yourselves and maybe learn something new about our Christmas and Advent seasons. But in all of it, remember the reason for the season, celebrating Christ's birth, which brings peace, hope, joy, and love to us all.